So uh, let's talk about the principles first. Uh, the first thing is about visual, visual perception. Uh, you want people to look at your reports and dashboards and have get insight from them quickly. Uh, the first concept is, you know, if you look at this table and I, and I ask you how many nines are on this table, if you're like most of us, you're going to be using your logical side of your brain, your, your attentive processing side. You have to go row by row and count, and it's going to take a while to do that. Uh, the alternative, like in this case, I just highlighted the nines, and now in about a couple of seconds, you can tell there's about 10 nines on this table. Uh, so what are we doing here? Well, we're using the pre-attentive processing side of the brain. Uh, the brain has been designed through evolution to respond very quickly uh, by what we call pre-attentive visual attributes. If you use different forms, uh, you know, shapes, colors, uh, position, uh, the brain will very quickly get to the point of what you're trying to convey. So when you're building reports and dashboards, uh, depending on what you're trying to do, you should maximize these pre-attentive visual attributes because they'll help your people, your users, to get to the point of your reporting dashboard very, very quickly. So uh, pre-attentive is one of the most important concepts you should know when you're doing your, your when you're building your visualizations. Uh, colors is a big uh, part of the whole experience and using colors wisely can make a huge impact on how you convey uh, the point. Uh, this slide talks about the main ways to use colors. Uh, sequential, very popular to, to, to tell from low to the high how things are. Uh, diverging, you know, if you're looking, let's say profitability, you know, positive and negative. Uh, so looking at numbers and charts to see uh, how those things are doing. Uh, if you try to change categories, showing categories with, through colors, so using different colors, uh, as a rule overall, people tell don't use more than seven colors because they start to get hard to tell apart one from another. So some ideas when you're selecting uh, colors. Uh, if you're trying to highlight something, you know, very good approach to use like a single color to, to, to highlight. Typically, you don't want to make it big, you want to make it subtle to highlight, unless it's an alert, something really critical, and then you should use a very uh, a bright color like such as red to show the attention. So before you start building or as you start building your reports and dashboards, uh, these are very important principles, principles or guidelines. They're not rules, but they are guidelines. If you keep them in mind, uh, you're gonna get to the final destination, your most effective report dashboard much more quickly. So the first thing is, what is the goal of this particular report dashboard or visualization? Uh, what do you try to convey with it? Who's the audience? Is it someone that, will, that we're really going to be looking closely? Or is a lot of people, and you don't know, many people are not going to pay much attention unless it's something really easy to use. So trying to understand who the audience is, how many people, their profile, and how long it's going to take them to really embrace what you're trying to convey is very critical. How frequently your users are going to be exposed to this. If it's for business and this person is going to be seen all the time, you can simplify, you can remove you know, legends and, 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 and uh, additional information because people get used to it. They'll know what they're looking at. If they're going to be looking only once in a while or only once, then you have to put more context, more text to explain what the report and dashboard is about. How long people spend looking at this particular visualization also is a big decision of making simpler or more uh, contextual-based uh, information. Uh, screen real estate, uh, quite often you don't have a lot of space to give the message, so you have to really try to make things not cluttered. So being able to use the real estate is very important, uh, really well is very important. And finally, most important, experiment. It's a journey. You know, as you start doing your visualization uh, and as you get the requirements of what the visualization should be, uh, do the best that you can, 
show to users, get their feedback, refine and go this over and over until you get it really well. Now, the most important thing is this is usually a report or dashboard for someone else. You need to get their feedback. It's not about you, it's about them. And quite often, you know, they're not as um, uh, business analyst savvy as you. So you have to kind of, you know, make things simple and very informative. So you'll get user traction. You get users to really benefit from the information you're trying to convey. So 